Good morning, boys and girls. I hope you're having a nice time, enjoying the sunshine. Uh, I've got another book for you today, and it's the Three Billy Goats book. So one, two, three Billy Goats. This is the tale of three Billy Goats Gruff. One grey one, one brown one, and one white. They lived in a field and they loved to eat grass from daybreak till last thing at night. They had grass for their breakfast and grass for their lunch. And for tea, they had more of the stuff. Soon there wasn't a lot of grass left in their field. Let's move on, said the billy goat gruff. We've got a lovely tent here with lots of lovely things in there. Now over the stream, they could see a fine meadow, as lush and as green as can be. It's time, said the youngest, to cross the red bridge. And his brother just had to agree. What brave billy goats, for each of them knew that under the bridge in a shack lived a terrible troll who kept watch all the time. And his goat was his favourite snack. Mm, dear. While the two older billy goats packed at their tent, the youngest one said, cheerio. He began to trot over the rickety bridge just as fast as his two feet would go. Ooh, that's a little bit worried, I think. But he hadn't got further than halfway across when a boy shouted out, not so fast. And onto the bridge leapt the horrible troll. And he grunted, you're not getting past. <gasps> Looks a bit fierce. Not a very nice character. <gasps> the troll licked his lips, then he said with a grin, I fancy goat pie for my tea. <gasps> the little goat trembled, but quickly replied, Oh, please, Mr. Troll, don't eat me. My brother is bigger. He's coming this way. He tastes better than me, I am sure. In that case, the troll said, I shall let you pass. Just don't come round here anymore. <gasps> so he's feeling very relieved now that he hasn't been caught by the troll. So he reached the far bank and the troll disappeared. So the middle-sized goat said, here goes. He stepped onto the bridge and he took a deep breath. Then he started to cross on tiptoe. But the troll had good ears, so he heard the bridge creak and he jumped up and stood in the way. Oh, he chuckled with glee when he saw the goat bear and roared, Boy, am I hungry today. Ooh, I wonder how the middle-sized goat's feeling now. Oh, please let me cross, said the middle-sized goat. But the troll only snapped, What's your hurry? With some herbs and some spices, and served up with rice, you would make a delicious goat curry. Oh. My brother's much bigger, he'll be along soon, said the goat, and he'd make a huge meal. So spare me and think up a way to cook him. And the greedy troll said, it's a deal. Whilst the troll went to look in his cookery book, the goat quickly went on his way. He ran to his brother who stood in the meadow and both of them shouted, hooray! The big billy goat had been patiently waiting. Now his turn had finally come. He strode onto the bridge, but the horrible troll popped back up with a cry of yum yum. I think he's looking forward to eating him. The troll fixed his eye on the huge shaggy goat. His mouth watered, he said, ooh, what a prize. I'm glad that I waited, because very now, soon now, I'll be eating goat burger and fries. That was a very large meal. The goat 
stared right back at the horrible troll. You're a rude, nasty fellow, he said, and I really don't want to be dish of the day. Let me teach you a lesson instead. Wonder what he's going to do. He lowered his horns and he charged straight ahead and ran into the troll with a crash. The troll lost his balance, fell right off the bridge and plunged into the stream with a splash. Goodness me, I hope he can swim. As the horrible troll bobbed about in the water, he spluttered, I know when I'm beaten. And the billy goats laughed and began tucking into the sweetest grass they had ever eaten. Look how happy they look at the end. I wonder why. Bye for now. See you again soon.